I'm sorry I made you turn back. It's all right. I mean, come on, we would have gone to your mom's in the middle of the night. Not the best time to announce an engagement. And since I'm your sister's ex. Evangeline would understand. I, I know that in my heart. But my mother, she's a different story. She won't be shy of telling me how she feels, that's for sure. Well, she'll be a piece of cake compared to Jessica. I could, but I, I, I just couldn't wait any longer. For what? To hear about your prom, of course. Honey, was it a dream come true? More like a nightmare. So you say the injury occurred last night? Uh, yeah. And um, uh, when I woke up this morning, I couldn't move my hand. How did it happen? I guess I wasn't looking where I was going. I um, ran into a wall. <laughs> How's the other guy? We'll deal with Jessica, but first we deal with Ford. I want him out of this apartment today. After what he did to Marco? I'm with you 100%. Good. Ford! We need to talk. Do not disturb. Okay. Open up! If you don't open right now, I'm coming in. Oh, my God! Honey, did you and Marco have a fight? Yeah, we broke up, and now he's gone. Gone where? I don't know. But he's never coming back. Well, I can't walk out on my daughter and break her heart. See? That's the thing, Dorian. He didn't break my heart. I broke his heart. What do you mean? I did the worst thing a person can do. I hurt someone who completely trusted me. And when I... When I heard you at the door just now, I thought, I prayed that it was Marco so that I could make him understand just how sorry I am. I'm sure he's just as sorry, honey. It takes two to create a misunderstanding. Not this time. No. This one's all on me. And Marco knows that more than anyone. Well, I don't see anything on the x-ray, but it might be what we call an occult fracture. It doesn't show up right away. Uh, so what do we do for that? Well, we give you a splint, but I want you to come back in a week so we can take another look. Okay. And in the meantime, stay away from walls. Right. It's not like there's anything I can do to change what's happened anyway. Hey, stand back. Yeah, hi, I, I need an ambulance. 56 Commonwealth. Well, what if it's too late? I mean, look at him. He, he looks dead. Sweetheart, sit down. And, uh, please, just, just start from the beginning. How could I do this to Marco, of all people? Do what? I cheated on him. See, I told you it was horrible. Um, you're young? You're, you're, you're very young, and Marco was your first serious relationship, honey. It's only natural that you would have curiosity about other possibilities. And, and, and you lost your head, and, and I'm sure Marco's going to understand that it didn't mean anything. But it did. I thought it did. I thought I was in love. And that he loved me back, but he, he was just using me. God. What have I done? What, what have I done? I got a pulse. We got to move fast. We got to scoop and run. Let's go. Oh, as angry as I was with Ford, I would never, never wish him dead. Yeah, me neither. I can't believe this is happening. Wait, so am I going to be able to use my hand after you put on the split? Because I have a job at the diner. No, you should be able to work, as long as you're careful. Okay, good, because I need the money and the distraction. I'm going to give you a list of do's and don'ts, that way you don't re-injure yourself, okay? And uh, I'll be right back with the splint. Come on. Say it. 
All right, fine. We slept together. Happy now? You son of a bitch! Oh. Sweetheart, part of growing up is falling under the spell of the wrong person. I mean, sometimes, several times, as in my case. It's a, it's a painful lesson, but one that has to be learned. I'd kind of like to know what the boy's name is. Um, it wasn't a boy. It was a man. A man. Excuse me, but what kind of a man takes advantage of a high school student? I'm not a child. I'm an adult, and you used to treat me like one. I... I I do not mean to imply that you shouldn't take responsibility for your actions, but this man should take responsibility for his actions. He should know better. I should have known better. Ford was lying to me from the start, and if I had just been honest with myself, I would have seen it in a heartbeat. Ford? Robert? Ford, the guy who was producing David's reality show? Yeah, he's also one of Marco's teachers. Well, he's a dead man now. Because when I get through with Don't him... Don't even think about it. Besides, it's too late. It's pretty simple, but if you have any questions, just give my office a call, and in a week or so, we'll do some wax rays. Clear the way. Incoming! Uh, what do we got? Severe head trauma, massive blood loss, BP 90 over 50. He's tacky at 110, GCS is 4. Guy's been bleeding out for a while. Amazing he's alive at all. All right, looks like he's mostly coming from this laceration here. Let's get him in QB. didn't get home till this morning. About a half hour ago. So Ford was here alone. That's right. Fish doesn't live here anymore. What's that? Well, we're pretty sure it's the weapon used on this guy, Ford. <clears throat> so what do you think happened? Um, a robbery? Ford came in and caught them in the act? I don't think it was a robbery, Layla. Why not? Well, for starters, there's no sign of forced entry. I think whoever did this was after this guy, Ford. So you guys have any idea who might have wanted him dead? There's no point in talking to Ford. It's over. I'm never going to see him again. The man's a predator, and he has to be held accountable. There are any number of women his own age, and yet... <laughs> He wants to target an innocent young girl? I am not that innocent. I could have stopped it before things got out of hand. Nobody forced me to cheat. Lear as much as told me that you know, things weren't quite right with you and Marco. I should have taken steps as soon as I learned that there was trouble. It wouldn't have mattered. I would have found some way to blow you off. I wasn't listening to anyone, Dorit. I wasn't even listening to myself. Well, it's never too late. Wait, where are you going? You stay here. When I get back, uh, we'll talk. No, Dorit, you can't go over there. I know what I'm doing. Dorit. Right, let's get a lateral C-spine, CT, MRI, and anagram stat. Type and cross for six units. And get him started on a unit of O neg. I want to get a handle on this tachycardia before we... Uh, BP is dropping, doctor. I'm getting 85 pounds. Damn, we are losing him. 